call this meeting to order. Roll call. Erica Parton. Sean Arlen. Oh, Randy Sneed. Angela Resendez. Eric Jones. Lisa Mullaney. George Null is not here tonight. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes of 1201-2020 regular session. Anyone have a chance to look at them? Mm -hmm. I guess so. Make a motion for the minutes from what? Right here. 12 1, 2021. Second that. We have a motion and a second. Can you have one? Needs to be said. All in favor say aye. 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 It's passed. Oh, we're Citizens right. input. <laughs> For downtown um, you can scratch that out. I think I got that taken care of. So. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Old business attorney report. I'd like to say I'd be quick, but I'd be a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I have. These nepotism certificates. There's a bunch of the end of the year kind of stuff, guys, tonight, okay? And there's one of those for each of you to sign. This goes back to the executive. George also needs to sign one of those and get it back to himself, obviously. So this is just one of these annual things that we have to do. <coughs> No complaints. You hear it, everyone? No complaints. Hold on, let me sign yours too. Are you using the whole thing this time? I am the, <coughs> the only he, way he, is he all the way, Miss Erica. <laughs> they, they need to be. Exactly. Turned in the door, but I would, for now, since George's not here, I'd give them to Lisa and let her deliver those to George. Mm -hmm. He needs to sign one himself. Right, I have it. Okay. The next thing I have are these conflict of interest disclosure statements. There's a few members here on the council, as well as Lisa, that it looks like I've got signed copies back. If you're an elected official, that's great. If you're appointed, like a Mark Vanderweel or John Vanderweel, those have to be approved by the council <clears throat> and then signed, and I have to get those uh, down to the State Board of Accounts before the end of the year. So this is something we've got to tackle and address tonight. But I've got one from Mark Vanderweel and John Vanderweel. They're both obviously owners of the Brand New World Development Corporation, DBA, Argus Duo Best Hardware. Um, Mark is on redevelopment, also the economic director. John is a member of the park board, and so we have those conflicts of interest because there's obviously purchases that do occur in the Argus Duo Best Hardware. And so that is up for your consideration to execute those conflict of interest. Those, are those ready to vote on now, Derek? Correct. I'll make a motion to pass conflict of interest statements for Mark Vanderweel and John Vanderweel. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Okay. These need to sign on the second page by council members. Everybody? Everybody. Give it to us first for you. I wasn't sure. Get to <laughs> I know that's the second. I'm looking right now. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm telling mm -hmm. you. Right. Are you sure? Small, so the rest of them. <laughs> Just so you all understand, the rest of them um, that I have right for, for Sean, I have one for George, 
and I have them for Lisa. Um, those do not need to be executed by the council. They just need to get turned in. They've already been executed uh, by those particular individuals, but I just have to send them down to state. And again, just an annual requirement that we need to do to make sure that we're on the up and up. Another issue, if we're ready, or if we want to wait, that's fine too. It's available for lease. There could be a potential issue this year about how in the world the farmer gets back to where he needs to be. Um, I, this is one of those things that like we normally get on this in November. Um, so it's my fault. I've not brought this to the council's attention until now. I just realized this one of the, again the end of the year things. I'm trying to figure out like hey what do we need to get knocked out. But there were 20 acres that were leased last year. The current lease expires December 31. If we want to lease this existing farm ground, we can still do that. We're down to 20 acres. Um, access, or I guess I'll call it ingress and egress, could be a potential issue, but it's something that we could get set up and put into place by March 1 and have it in by the end of the year, which should allow sufficient time for anybody to do what they need to do to basically plant a crop, get it off. So I'm bringing that to your attention. Uh, if we want to continue this, fine. We can get on it. If not, so be it. Then it'll be fallow ground. My opinion is do we figure out how the, how the DC can get in and out of that property I don't know that I really, I, I don't know that I'm in favor of putting it out for bid just yet until we get that figured yeah. out. Can I get, I'm, I need to meet with you. If I can, let me talk with him. Uh, if we can't figure that out, the only thing I'm, we're going to need to look and it's going to be, if it's allowed, we may, I may have to be in a budding landowner. I mean, I don't know how else you can do it. <laughs> in terms of? Being able to lease it because we have no, I've got an easement there, but not for that. I got a utility easement. We can, yeah, right, and, and until we can figure given, out the drive, we talked about we have no. Given that the town currently owns all of the ground, nothing's been sold. I mean, there's still one lot in particular could be kind of set aside unless somebody uh, decides they want that. And I understand that. No, I know what you're thinking, but once we raise, get that those roads in, I, I don't think he's going to want them driving on them. Okay. That's what I was thinking too. Once we yeah. get utilities in the ground and stuff, and I, so we need to farm equipment can do. Some I guess I just want to I want to ask Mark. you one on one and see what yep. you think. And that's fair. And again, it's one of those things, guys, that I'm sorry that I and that's should have brought this up in November. I, Jamie and I talked about it a month ago, and I forgot. I was going to get with him and try to because I knew the issue was there, and I didn't. Yeah, I'm not post leasing. I just think we need to figure out how to get some in and out of there the way correct right. way. First. Possibility, Mark, of getting in on the east end? Uh, no, we, can do we don't own any property on the east end. I know we don't own it as of yet. We have to talk with that landowner and try to get a... And be a process as well. So yeah. In terms of getting the lease together for this farm year. So. Can the next meeting be too late? No. no when, I, I think we're, we're looking at a probably a 60-day process. So... If we started something in early January, we'd be looking at early March, maybe mid-March, to start a lease. Um, and I think everybody appreciates, in terms of if you're a farmer, that 
you're getting 20 acres, you do what you can do. And I think the bid will be uh, corresponding to that as well. What crop did he have in there a year ago? He had corn. Okay. And I mean, there's a couple things I want to ask him. I mean, your options, if you want somebody to try to put, hey, we obviously are going to try to do a multi-year lease. And there's just some questions that I want to get his you opinion. Still got to get it out issues with that. I, unless it's the adjoining landowner that. So, well, the only thing I might the only reason I asked that, Mark, was since it was corn last year, the potential it should probably, as rotation-wise, go to beans this year. But the price of fertilizer for corn and everything right now, I mean, it's after the first year, it's going even higher. So that's why potentially going to go into beans is a better prospect than going to corn as far as the leasing and buying the products to put on it. So. But it's, it's Lisa, in particular, so, yeah. well, but you will, of course, limit right. your bids. We're not We're exactly. I understand. Yeah. Where do we put the bids out? Typically? Yes. Uh, November. We're about a month behind the process. Oh, okay. okay. And, and, and again, I'm sorry. No, 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 you don't have to this. apologize. So That's fine. I just wasn't sure. But uh, so I, I agree with Sean. I think we should hold off on this to mm -hmm. Mark has got us some uh, more clear information. So we want to table this then till the first meeting of next month, Mark? Is that uh, it'll be the first, it may be the second. I guess he went on to meet with Derek uh, sometime in there. But we'll, we'll get working on that now and see what we can come up with, hopefully by then. So the first meeting is, is the 5th. You, you, you don't think that's enough time? Yeah, I don't think we meet till that next week. So we may have a little answer on the 5th, but we'll shoot for the 19th for sure. Okay, yeah. all right. So let's table this to the 19th then. Fair enough. All right. Last thing I have, um, the Mora property, that is a situation that we have again the judgment, and I know that we've talked about having somebody come out and take a look at that, i.e. Chuck. <coughs> Did you want pictures? I forgot my laptop. No. But um, we've kind of sat on this for the last couple of meetings, and we don't have to necessarily make a decision this evening, but I know that a fair amount of work's been done. There were some issues with some called boot buildings or something of that effect. And I'm not sure if that was exactly according to code or not. So no, it's not. That's not a structure. He's just got it's an aluminum frame. Um, he's got tarps on it. It's I talked with the uh, Marshall County Building Commissioner. Um, as well as my own experience, and he said absolutely not. It's not a structure, so that needs to be removed. So is removing that going to be part of the original, or we're going to have to rebid that out? We have to rebid that if we want that removed. I went back and researched. Um, there's never been a building permit for it. Okay. Um, or been inspected or anything else, so it's illegal however you look at it. So anything else on there? Uh, there was a little shed, is it fine? It's toward the front and on the east side? No, um, sorry, that that is in the front yard setback. Right. Um, I had pictures, but they're on my... That's uh, okay, I don't know where to get. But no, it's in the front yard setback. Right. So it, it has to... Go be back past torn the down or go back past the front of the house. So on this bid then, so we'd be bidding to remove the uh, big structure and to move the shed then? Well, I don't think it's a movable shed. Well, I think it's probably going to need to be torn down. It doesn't have any runners right. on it or anything else, so you can't, right. you can't move it. Built in place, basically. Yes. And with no permits or so anything that. I guess I'm trying to come up with exactly how we want to do this bid and we're going to be able to remove the two structures. I, I think yeah. that's... Is that fair? That's yeah. what we're, I think we're hearing you, correct? Yes. yes. No. And, and again, I mean, yeah, I this can all be made known to Mr. Moore if he decides to take action on his own, which he never really has. Great. But short of that... Then so we should give him... A length of time? No, I, I think we let it out for bids oh, and understand okay. that process is going to take some time. Right. But 
at the same time, let them know that hey, there's going to be folks out here that are going to take down the shed and get rid of the hoop building. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want to tackle that on your own, more power to you. Do we need to send them a letter then? No. No? Okay. I'm just saying just as a courtesy to let him avoid additional cost and expense. He's already into this 14000 some odd bucks. I'll make a motion to uh, concerning the Mora property with the two out of compliance buildings, one being the building, the other being the so called the per se storage shed that's built in place that's not in compliance, uh, to send those out for bid to be torn down or removed otherwise. And at the same time, Send a notification or simply have Corey stop down and let him know that we are sending that out. We did to have them torn down. So if there's anything in those that he wants to save, it's his responsibility to get them out. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, <coughs> more property to uh, have the two structures removed that are not in compliance with anything, and also uh, we should have uh, Chief Bowman stop by and let him know that there is, uh, the buildings are going to go out for bid to be removed and any personal property or anything inside he would like to have removed, uh, he needs to get that done. And if he, <coughs> Derek, if he chooses to remove them, do we have to give him a, uh, a time? If he says, well, listen guys, I'll, I'll tear these down. No, it, it's basically a situation where we're going to let it out for bids and it's going to take a I won't say, but a, a meeting or two. Right. We'll be in the February or March. Set up. Yeah. Yes. And so if he gets it done ahead of time, then we won't need to worry about okay. it because okay. the work's been done. But okay. his, just want to make sure. Okay. His response has been, I, it's, it's been negative. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. So we said we need to get that out for bid. Yep, yeah, I'll take care of that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. Nuts. Mm -hmm. Can't. Uh, in terms of the. Can't. Uh, yeah. We can address that. If we're already in the March, it's not going to because of April 15th would be the first month. You want to tackle it now? Mm -hmm. We can't. Let's, guys, it's under new business, but I think cemetery rates. No, no. no cemetery rates. Which is? I didn't put it on there. Oh. I'm asking you if you want to include it in your report. Uh, we'll include this in my report. <laughs> um, that we do need to basically let out a bid or an invitation for bids for the mowing contract for the cemetery. I need a motion to um, send out bids for mowing the cemetery. I second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to let out bids for the mowing of the cemetery for the year of 2022. Any other discussion? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, mowing's kind of general. I think it should be stated uh, mowing and Trimming of the stones. Yeah, well, I think that should be. In the, I think it should yeah. be in the bid process somehow. So, okay. yeah, we yeah. have bids. As long as that's covered, we have mowing specs that are that you okay. send out with the bid. Correct. And yeah. Sean, I can't quote you exactly what that looks like, but it does. I mean, it's not just mow. It's yeah. yeah. Mow There's two clean up days. Just want to be sure we don't get ourselves in a. And I'll tell you what. Mowing, so. um, we might want to make it more stricter this year. Well, that's what I'm thinking. By the next meeting, I'll have that bid ready to go, and I'll aim to get it to you so you can look at it. Mm -hmm. So if you say, I want to be more specific about weeding around each and every gravestone, or whatever it is, um, then we can address that. Okay. So I'm not just going to submit something uh, without you guys taking a look at the bid spec. Okay. But I'll have that prepared, ready for you to take a look at the next meeting. Sounds good. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. I make a motion to update the Chinese report. Did you ask me that, Dan? No, you're fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
We have a motion and a second to accept the attorney report. Any other discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Ordinance 2021-18, salary ordinance 2022. Now this ordinance is, was voted on last meeting on the first reading, so we have the second and the third reading uh, to vote on or to pass or so. so we need a motion to suspend the rules and we'll pass on the second and third reading. Lisa, Lisa, that uh, still didn't come into our files here, but that's what you showed us here earlier in that writing. For yes, us, what I it am, is. yes. The comment time will will be the same on both the salary ordinance and the, I don't know why it's not coming yeah, into I, the file, because it's, it's in my Dropbox, so. It's not coming <clears> through. Um, so what happened was, just so that we cover both of them at the same time, when we were going over comp time, we decided to let the employees carry 80 hours throughout the year of comp time, which means if they work overtime and they want to take it as comp compensatory time, they can. So after talking with everybody, you guys got emails from me and stuff, and from George and from Sean, um, we, we kind of came to a consensus, not a vote, a consensus that everybody wanted to see that the compensatory time after the 80 hours, if you carry that till the end of the year, it'll be paid out at the end of the year. It will not carry year to year. So I made those changes today. You're more than welcome to look at the at hard copies that are in that file. I did show Sean earlier to make sure. I did send them to my Dropbox today. I have them in there. But for some reason, your drop boxes are not. They're not updating synced. Yeah, they're or not something. Yeah. It's here in my pending synced. files, but it's not syncing. But I just sent you another email. Did you try? Yeah, that? it's the same thing. It's still sitting in pending. Okay, so yeah, I same. I apologize, but I mean I send them as I can. You know what I mean? So if um, like I said, if you need a minute and you want to review the hard copy, you are more than welcome. There, that is the only change from what we did the other day. Well, so, and, and I'm going to be. But there are changes. The yeah, I mean, what I see that was passed on December one, and as an example, talks about the sergeant SRO officer at a rate of twenty four sixty six per hour. What I saw in our packet is twenty four thirty per hour, and that's just one example of a change. And I see other changes that are kind of highlighted. So I want to make sure you guys know exactly what it is, what document that you're passing, and I want to make sure that you say no, I know. this is correct so we don't have to revisit this. Oh, don't worry, we'll pass it 15 more. No, the 24 30 is right. <laughs> But you changed the SRO, you took the SRO off of that. But board. I took the SRO off of it, but I did not think that I changed any of the dollar amounts at all. But apparently, can I see the, the salary ordinance? Right, you take a look at that and make sure. Because this is the one they're signing, so this right. is the only one that matters. So it does say 24 30 an hour. This thing has been changed like 15 times in the past week. Good. But I didn't think that any of the pay things were messed with. Is that the only one Derek is on the police department one? Um, I'm looking. I'm not going to say that it is, Sean. I just saw like, I just saw a difference, and again, I and not the put you on the spot here, Lisa, uh -huh. but I just looked at this like 430. So. Here's what they're supposed to be.
probably that sergeant one didn't get changed because we don't have a sergeant. I probably didn't put it in there. We don't have a sergeant. All right. Why is that? So hang on. Dave retired. I thought Ryan was a sergeant. Assistant chief. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, Lisa. I never changed that. I'm looking at the email I sent back to you on the 9th, or the 29th. And I probably overlooked that simply because we don't have that position right now. Okay. okay this one is different because we did change a compensatory time. So, um, so these two are exactly the same. Probably won't unless court makes some kind of recommendation to do that, but I don't see that happening. Okay. That's totally up to court to bring to the police commission, but I don't see that happening, Randy. Right now, anyway. Hmm. Sit down, children. Heck yeah, I do. <laughs> you teach where? <laughs> they let you teach. <laughs>
Seventh grade. Seventh grade, they let me teach English. Well, that's good. Well, I'll tell you what, it was their mind. <laughs> you want to see what it's supposed to be? Simply, I didn't put a pay raise on it for him. I think we're all, I showed everybody here. So, yeah, Andy, you want to see it? Yeah, it's you can explain to him. I just to you. Wow, this is so awesome. That's all right. It needs a new cover. Ones in yellow are changes. So, let's say the one there, the one there at the bottom on the top page. Yeah, this is the one that Derek called out. This is right. being different. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of it is here. The one on my page is a little close to me. On okay. here, okay. Yeah, that's one that I can see. And that's the exact copy that I sent all council members when I figured those raises for the police department. Okay. I was at the point where I came So. So, yes, Lisa, whatever we need to do to make it yeah, go through. Yeah. Have your salary ordinance in front of you? 
I've got the original one that I sent everybody and I sent you to put in the salary. No, right, but you have the salary ordinance. You need to know what you're voting on. So yes. um, the salary ordinance, page one, is um, when it comes down to the sergeant's pay, one of them says 2430 and the other one says 2466 and i think the 2466 is with the three percent yes so i would say that this is a good 2466 is what it's supposed to be right. that is the only difference on page one yes yep everything so, else is good Eric, would you agree that's the only thing i saw okay then I, to be honest quick look at so i what was 2466 Sergeant. Sergeant. So I do have one question. We didn't ask you today. I forgot to ask you. The SRO. We moved it. We moved it. Back to our first class. Okay. Because I was going to ask you and I forgot. But actually, we took it off, I believe. Yeah. It so must be a first class patrolman, right? Okay. It's more of a title. So that one is a good position. copy. Okay. Then page two. The SRO is probably actually not. The one that you down. have. I don't have a page two. I think they're all going to be straight aside that big video. Since he's an officer, he's hired mm -hmm. as a first class patrol. So. It's just kind of confusing. Okay. Yeah. All right, so page two. Um, on the first class patrolman, that is the same. Okay. 20, 25, 27. Yes. Yeah. The second class patrolman, we did put a, we took out the SRO mm -hmm. and we did put in there a salary range mm -hmm. of $24.51 to $25. That is correct. The third class patrolman is $23.75 to $24. And the patrolman probationary is $21.60. Those are the only changes on page two. Give me good page two. Good page two. Okay. And we need to remove the SRO off of the second class patrolman, just so that you know. That's more of just a technical idea okay. of the title. Page three is good. Good page three. Nothing has changed. Everything on there is. Yeah, page three. I don't see any changes on page three, do you? I don't see anything higher. Oh, no, well, these are old numbers. These are the new ones. Yeah, they're all the same. All right, so good page three. Page four. Um, and there is nothing changed on page four. Okay, page four. Page five, the compensorium flex time. This did change. Um, this is where we said that it was, Page 
Okay, page four is right. There's nothing changed on that one, but on page five is where we added the 80 hours payable for compensatory time, but they will be paid out at the end of the year for all unused compensatory time hours. That is the page I showed you earlier, Sean. Okay. So that's a good page five. Page six is the hours, and that that nothing changed on the on the vacation schedule. And then the page seven is the holidays. That did not change. There are still nine holidays listed, just like you wanted. And the bereavement leave and jury duty and witness duty are all the same. Page eight is the medical premiums, and those were all set. So that is a good page eight. Okay. I have a good page nine. Nothing changed for short term disability, public retirement system, who's your start, all of that stayed the same. Page 10, the clothing allowances, mobile devices, full-timers get one, 60, and then part-timers receive 30. That's in there, and the business expenses stayed the same. You have a good page 10. It says one, but... Here's yeah. 10. And then... The other one is the town issued credit card at the very end with all your signatures. The use of that is still supervisor approved. So that did not change either. So there's a good page 11. I apologize for that, but like I said, this thing has changed like 15 times in the past week. So um, I thought I had the exact one. That's the good one. So that's the document. So this one, we can sign this one. Yes, and I think I went over any and all changes. It would be the one that I sent out today that you guys, for some reason, are not getting in your job yeah, box. It's, it's, so yeah, I just looked and still not seeing it. <coughs> I'm sorry. He can see it. I can see it, but I can't yeah. open it. So. Yeah, it, it's there. And I, I even it. sent it tonight again. So. I put it up online, but I can't open it. Yeah, I'm the same way. So, um, if you're not comfortable, then. No, I think I think you guys. Appreciate the extra time. I, I mean, well. I have been sending you these day after day after day and highlighting the changes. So, well, I went over the ones that was the major ones that Derek called out with each council member here, and it's just what I showed them is exactly what I sent them when I was asked to figure those for the police department from the rest of the council. Nothing changed, and I had the original here in my computer. They've all seen it right. tonight, so I don't see any problems with passing this myself. So Three. We, we passed ordinance. Uh, yeah, but we've made on, changes. So. Well, we did it on just the first reading. Correct. Yes. So we need just we can do the second and third. Then. Correct. Even with the changes? Even with From the, the first ones? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, let me see this. I'll make a motion to pass the Town of Argus Salary Ordinance for 2022. It's Ordinance 2021-18 on the second and third readings. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to pass. Uh, Town of Argus 2022 Salary Ordinance, Ordinance 2021-18 on the second and third reading. Any other discussion on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Ordinance passed. Okay. Um, so, Okay, the next, next thing on our agenda is resolution 2021-12 grants. Uh, 
suspension. In the second. I can pick this up. Um, it's a resolution. We had adopted a resolution back in May of 2019. Two different but very similar uh, downtown business and center mm -hmm. programs. And it was the assignment of the council to last me to suspend those. This resolution suspends them indefinitely, which means it won't be in place unless or until you decide to put them back in place. And that's what this resolution would accomplish. I think that was a consensus we had at the last yes, meeting, wasn't yes. it, Randy? Yes, we had no problem with that. Okay, we have a motion to pass resolution 2021-12. We have a second. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Resolution 2021-12 is passed. Other old business. I think you took care of that. Presentation. Okay, on moving on to new business. We have ordinance 2021-19 handbook revision for 101-2022. So like I said, um, this has been a process. Sean and his, uh, Sean, Erica, Lori, and Mark, Randy. Yep. And Randy and Mark all worked really hard on this. Um, I had I had New Focus HR write it for us. So um, I have been sending you every change that has been made. Again. We have a clean copy because I got it straight from Kathy today at New Focus HR. Sent it out. Hopefully, you got it in your handbook or in your email. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one that hasn't seen. And I showed Sean the only change that we made today from the past few days is that compensatory time being paid out at the end of the year. And that is in the handbook if you look on Randy's copy. Anyone want to see it? Yeah, I already I see. I'm good. It is. It's in there, Andy. That is the only thing that we have changed in, since like three days ago when I sent out the original packets. And hopefully, we don't do this again for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It started earlier in the year. Yeah. It, in our defense, I mean, it was kind of a major undertaking. We kind of got the whole thing and started over, basically, but I mean, some section of it. But you did get a handbook with all her changes highlighted. Yes. And then... Will you get us a clean copy to give us a hard copy for her? Everybody will have to sign for one. So. Okay. <laughs> So now, you make a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept all the uh, 2021-19 handbook revision. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to pass ordinance 2021-19 Argus employee handbook revisions. It's an ordinance, so it's... Oh, it's an ordinance, so we have to... reading is... You have to suspend the rules. Okay. So I need a motion to suspend the rules and pass all three readings for the ordinance 2021-19 handbook revision. Second. Okay, so we had uh, a motion to suspend the rules and pass on all three readings, ordinance 2021-19, the Argus employee handbook revision. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Ordinance passed. Next ordinance is 2021-20 uh, trash rates, and this will need to be done on the same rate. So I called Free Public Services and got the new rates for this year and incorporated them into the new trash rates for 20. Did they raise them? For the next year. Yes, they raise every, all five years they raise. Is that the contract? Yes. 
part of it too, Sean, to be the landfills raise their rates. I understand. I just I don't know. Yeah. There's county area wide. There's we're not going to get into that tonight, but yeah. I just wanted to see where we're at. So. Motion to pass ordinance 2021 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and suspend the rules. Suspend the rules. And pass on all three pass readings. Pass on all three readings. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> I'll second that one as well. Okay, so we have a motion to pass to suspend the rules and pass on all three readings. Ordinance 2021 20, 20, 20 uh, trash collection uh, rates for 2022. 20, Any other further discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Ordinance 202120 20 has passed. Cemetery rates. No. So this is just a discussion. You guys were talking about raising the cemetery plot rates this next year. Mm -hmm. Right now they're at like um, oh, yeah. 640, I believe. So that includes the foundation and the great space. Um, for the January meeting, just kind of keep it in your thoughts of what you want. Just so you have it, you're thinking about it. Okay. I didn't have time. I, I ran out of time, so I couldn't get the ordinance together. So. And I needed a number that you guys were thinking about in order to put it in, but... Um, yeah, we went up last year. No, we didn't go up last year. It was the year before. So we went, it was like five something at one time. Well, when I first started here, it was 100. Yeah, I know. And then it, it has gone up, but we've also incurred more costs. Right. The, the perpetual care goes up every year, and the cost of concrete goes up right. for the foundations. We are looking at pouring foundations next year, I believe. So on our own, um, maybe it, it it depends. So I know. if not, we'll hire it out, and we'll you know. So that's something that we'll have to budget for next year. But we did put it in next year's budget to do okay. the next five rows. Okay, so that's cemetery rates. Yeah. Other new business. SRO officer. I'll take this one, I guess, since uh, I'm the liaison of the police department. What we have here is we hired uh, Jeremy Enyard to be the new SRO officer down at the school. Jeremy was a prior officer with the town of Argus, left on good terms, had no disciplinary issues or anything prior, whatever. Um, he stayed in law enforcement, he just chose to go to Plymouth for a while. I believe it's Plymouth, right, Corey? Yes. He asked um, if we would bring it to consideration to honor his five-year tenure from his previous service with the town of Vargas. Um, I, at that point, I told Corey when it was brought to me that it has to come to the town council. That's not a police commission issue because it's in all benefits. So that is what the request is, is what the town council's decision is to honor his tenure, if we will honor his tenure. Just so I understand exactly what will that do for him. It will basically give him his five years of service, benefits for vacation and pension and that kind of stuff. Is really all it will do. Well, I mean, it, it's kind of something for pension. Won't do anything for pension. No. No. It's mainly just for vacation and right. that stuff. Yeah. So. Vacation. Okay. Longevity. Longevity. Yeah. That was the two. He's, um, I'll wait till my report. So, does anybody have any thoughts on this? <clears throat> Do we have any disagreements of letting him have his. How long ago was it that he was? I think it was for. I, it's been. Ten years, maybe? It's been, it's been a, maybe a little longer. It's been gone long. for ten years now? No, I don't think he's been gone ten. It's at least. Close. It's more than five, but not it's ten. It's about, yeah. It's about eight, maybe eight, eight to ten, somewhere in there, maybe. Yeah. And it, it, it was not ten. Like, I could probably go back in my police and stuff and find it, but I don't have that with me. I, I don't either. I know it's, 
I know it's at least eight. Yeah. I would say you're probably pretty close right there. Uh, is this something we, we do for other people, or is this just a benefit he asked to when he asked for when he took this? I would think this would be a case by case. Okay. Yeah. You got to think sometimes when you hire people, money doesn't always get them to come. Right. Mm -hmm. So you look at this one, we're not selling the academy, we've already got that. So it's just that little bit of added benefit. Uh, not that we have a lot, but it'd be the same thing I told you, if he's gonna hire a lineman from somewhere else, you may have to throw this at that lineman to get him to come, because I mean, not everything's money. So. And I, and I realize this position is a kind of a hard one to fill, because I, not everyone wants to do this. I'm for it, I, I, I have no problem with it. I guess I look at it uh, along the lines of Mark just, if we hired an officer, police commission hired an officer that uh, is a new officer, we had to send him to the academy, outfit him and everything, we would have as a town more money in him starting out to send him to the academy and outfitting him than what this will cost the town for probably three years. And plus the academy we're looking into sometime next year anyhow and yeah. think about getting somebody in there. So we go all this is a seasoned officer. You've yeah. been a police officer for many years. Okay. I'm personally not opposed to it, but that is like it's a council decision. So. Well so does it only affect his vacation time? Vacation only. What about his seniority? Yeah. Well, he was senior. I don't think by state statute you can. So I, if I'm correct, the way I understand it, and so see anything seniority, in there yeah. Seniority. Like, let's say someone had to get laid off. I don't think that can, it would be the, it wouldn't affect that. It would, he would still be the low man there. This is just for his longevity and vacation. So I guess we need a motion to uh, officer Jeremy Enyer. I will not make that motion myself because I am on the police commission. So I I can second it. I just won't make the motion. Okay. We have a motion and a second to allow Officer Jeremy Injured to become to uh, get his longevity and his vacation time restored back to when uh, with his back. This is serving his home. Yeah. It basically give him five years of service. Give him five years board. of service. Okay. Any further discussion? And you got anything you really want to say? I, it, really, if I if I have to say anything, it's like if I, you know, if I have I teach. So if I left the teaching position, like my teaching position, for eight or nine years and came back, I would still be considered a new teacher where I'm at. I wouldn't be allowed to have any of the perks or anything, even though I spent all that time doing that. Um, I would have to start from the bottom again. That's what I'm thinking. That's where my headspace is. Um, I don't know if that necessarily sets a great tone for the rest of the officers. Um, and if that's what's going to be expected, if they decide that they're going to take that long of a time off and then try and come back in if they leave on good terms and expect that kind of um, thing, even though we're doing it base by base, so our our case basis. So that's at least where my headspace is. Um. Anything else? No, I I, I totally okay. get where she's at. I, I do. I will tell I, you know all I'll add to that is this is kind of common practice in the business world. We give guys ten years seniority coming on coming from a competitor. Well, for us. So. All right. So we have the motion in a second. All right, let's take a vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Yeah. Three ayes, one nay. So it did pass. 
Nine. Department head reports. Yeah. Please. So I, and I didn't know, Sean, I, 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 you have my report, but so on this salary, was that set then? For the second? Come on, the second, okay. Um, so that was what I really had. Um, the only other thing I have other than that is we got the light bar put on the charger and should be back in it. Each day, so if we had any complaints on us in South Bend or Peterson, that's why. Um, and I think Jeremy's supposed to start, I believe, last I talked to him, is I think right after the first year, like the fourth. Right, yeah. If he starts after the first year, then he'll fall into the salary ordinance of past right. night, which is what right. we're trying to fire him under. And, so, um, Gary yeah. went down and did his pre test physical stuff at the academy, passed it with flying colors. Um, but it might be a little bit of change because the whole code and stuff, so we might be doing some of it online instead of being down at the academy. We're not quite sure yet. Just so as you know, within what we did with the salary orders tonight, we first time ever for your department, we put a range in there because you do have right. that probationary officer under, so you can't. Right. Would be the him. third class, which we have? Correct. Well, right now he's on probationary, I believe. Yeah. Do we have a third class? We do have a third class. Okay. But uh, you still will need to go through the police commission to approve that, even though it's a technicality. But according to SOPs, you have to go through that route okay. That's just to I'm notify saying. them. So. Is that it? Yes. Okay. That's all I have. <laughs> Utilities. Jamie. <clears throat> I don't have too much either. Um, we, we got the dump truck order that um, you approved last month or the last meeting. Uh, we're starting construction on Deerfield Meadows. Uh, I got cell fence put in the other day. Tomorrow we're gonna start putting pipe in the ground, um, storm tile, and then we'll get that retention pond started hopefully next week. So, start to move. Uh, leave leave pickups, what's that? How deep you making that pond? Well, it's, it's gonna be dry. I think it's nine feet in the deepest, but it's... You're supposed to make it a fishing pond, Dr. Jim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Not unless you put in... Um, I'm going to buy a lot right next to the board. I guess you can plug it up if you want. But, uh, <laughs> uh, leaf pickup still going on. We, we talked about ending it this Friday. We'll see. We may still pick up after this. The weather warmed up, so I think people are getting back out there, so... We'll just do it as needed for a while. I see so the boys went around, picked up the sticks too. I know they did for yeah. a while because of that, but they did get them, so that, yep. that's nice. They've been pretty busy. Yeah, I know yep. the trucks are running constantly. A uh, question for you on the dump truck. Did they honor that quote price that they gave us since you went ahead and ordered it? The price that I gave you is what we went with. So that's what it will be when yeah. it comes in? I suppose it would. Okay. We still haven't got slotted on it yet. I've been asking about that, but I don't, I don't know when we'll find out. Did you get the old one fixed yet? Did you get the metal one? It's, yeah, we got the metal on there. Well, then it had a broken spring, so Matt's got that right now. It should be back tomorrow, so. One, one, just a little question, just my own knowledge. What caused that transformer to catch on fire or whatever? <clears throat> the cutout actually, um, tracked back to the pole the wind blowing it so hard no it just it they get cracked sometimes and that's what happens to them they'll they track back to the pole and just finally it started okay. a fire so is this something we need to be checking more the cut it, or you just it, one of them sometimes it happens okay. didn't you just have one rebuilt and that one went out no, th this is that's a reclosure. Okay. This is a totally line fuse. Yeah, yeah. line fuse right down the street. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that it? That's all I have. Let's see if we have any other questions. Mr. Dean, fire. You should have fire and EMS reports there. Um, EMS hasn't missed a call on, since April, so that's a good thing. Other than that, I really don't have much. Just want to thank the town council for being. A good partner the last few years, 20 years I've been doing this, I guess, as we get ready to move into the territory starting January 1. Um, you probably won't see us here much, but stop in once in a while. I just want to thank you guys for 
all you've done for us over the years. Well, we'll still, we'll still see you. Oh yeah. <laughs> this Aaron, is a different board. Aaron, do you have anything? I do not. Okay. Ambulance is good. Ambulance is all good. Everything's fixed. Running good. Mr. Economic Director. Tomorrow. Did you get that? Tomorrow? I did. It's been that week. It good. Oh. I typed it Monday. I just never emailed it. Okay. I didn't get sent to him. He didn't remind me. Oh. Bad man. Bad man. You had one job. And he gets paid now. He used to come there. So, Mark, <laughs> the uh, Christmas in the park, uh, how did that be part uh, of the elevator? They were 150 50. cars, I think. Mean. So, it was down obviously from last year, but there were a lot more Santas this year. <laughs> so, they were happy, they went well. So. Everybody gave us kudos, so they said it won the Christmas contest. <gasps> or the lights. I forgot. Oh, that was supposed to be announced at the yeah. Okay, so you ready? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bulldogs won first place for the businesses, and then Julie's, and then um, Julie's Hair Salon was second, and third is uh, Log House. So, yay to them. And then Vicki Crum on Walnut Street won first place for her lights. And then um, the guy from Johnny's Roofing. Um, Johnny Witt. Johnny Witt Lives next and his wife on won South Street. on South Street. And then... Are you just pulling these out of the air? Or yeah, no. <clears throat> no, no. I had a very impartial person go around. They don't know anybody in town, so. Um, Sorry. You'll see them in the paper when she releases them. Right? That's no, you should have asked, right? no, should have asked. asked because they were supposed to be, and if you could give, yeah, it was on the, give no. me a. Oh, but I will tell you, there was one um, that was third place, and they're getting theirs. And then Suzanne was fourth, and or Ed Barkus was fourth, and Suzanne was fifth. I do know that, but I I am missing the one. <laughs> Facebook post here. Yeah, yeah, I will post them on Facebook. But I'll get all the why didn't you post pictures? Well, we don't post pictures so that you can go around and look at them. We post addresses. So, well, you should drive by. I mean, they put a lot of time and energy into that. So, and first place was 200, second place was 100, and third place was 50. So. Thank you. Chuck, do you have anything? Unless you have questions. How's things in the town? Is what you've been looking at any things looking all right or things you're pending with? Um, one of the things that we're going to be working on is our mobile home ordinance. Um, so we'll, the planning commission will come up with a with that, and uh, we're looking at whether we have them at all. If we have them, do they need to on foundations? Um, you know, there's a whole list of things that we need to look at. So um, we'll probably have that, I would think, to you by February. Don't we have an existing mobile home? We do have a mobile many home. Years ago. It just says that you can't put a new one in. But these ones that are in town right now right. have been here forever, yeah. and they're falling apart. Yeah, that's Speaking of that, right. yeah. Scott, is he kind of taking his time down Yeah, um, I'm getting Mark on that. Yeah. So. What am I doing? Well, Paul, and actually it's Paul, because the redevelopment <laughs> needs to speed Mark or Scott. Oh, right. What are you talking about? 311? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I see Scott. I thought you meant that one across the street. Like, well, we, we need to do something there too, but that'll come in a new ordinance then. 
Well, I just want to thank Chuck. Uh, I know he does a lot of work for us, and I, I do want to thank you for that, Chuck. So. Nothing else with the department heads? We'll move into point. We'll move. Yeah, we need a motion reports. to pass department head reports. We have a motion and a second to pass department head reports. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. Claims. Lisa. Yes. I have, I'm going to do claims and then I have one more thing. Um, the claims are $557,380.16. They are from 12-1 to 12-10. I tried to squeeze as many in there as possible because it is getting towards the end of the year. Um, so you got everything for the month of December only. I see everybody got their call. Firemen and everybody got their yeah. in the year. Okay. The firemen have been paid. The EMS were paid. The EMS will get one more check by the end of the year. Um, just to pay them out for, you know, until they go into the territory. And then um, we have a few bills that are straggling right now that are just coming in that we need to get paid by the end of the year. So you, next next meeting you'll have a docket that is kind of like that last of December, mm -hmm. and then you'll have another one that is just the January. So it'll be two different dockets to pass at the next meeting. I'll make a motion to pass claims from 12-1-2021 to 12-10-2021. The amount of five hundred fifty-seven thousand three hundred eighty dollars and sixteen cents. We have a motion and a second to pass claims from docket for from oh twelve oh one twenty twenty one to twelve ten twenty twenty one. Any further discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Claims passed. Before we move on, since this is kind of the clerk's area here, Randy, if you don't mind, Lisa called me. She uh, oh. has a very good suggestion. She'd like to have a workshop to go over the new time rule thing and some policies that we probably need to go over with her on to how the town council wants that to handle. Yeah, Lisa, you want to elaborate that. anymore? Yeah. Um, so we, we got training. Jamie was in on it, Mark was in on it, um, on our new time clock software. Um, some questions, Corey was in on it. Um, there were some questions that came up, so I think that we should maybe, either you appoint somebody from your council to be your representative, and then you sit down with the department heads and figure out what your strategies are gonna be as far as you know what you're gonna allow and what you're not gonna allow and we come up with a kind of time clock policy you know um, based on those strategies but i i think that they have a lot of questions that i don't think that i should be making judgments on so, i personally think that it should be a, a account uh, i think it should be handled in a work an executive workshop the council i don't think one person should be a representative necessarily for the whole council i don't know what these questions are no, none of us right. do I think that a list of questions should be brought forward into that workshop and we can all debate on how we want it to be handled and then we can go forward. We want to do that yet this year? I think we probably should if we can. If we can, yes. Um, whenever is good for you guys. It, it, you know, I mean, the department heads obviously will want to be there, so you, you're going to have to, you've got two here, three, you know, and Mark. <laughs> you know, so. Well, is there any, any problem with anybody <laughs> for last week of the month? I'm actually uh, off that week, so it doesn't matter. So it's, it's a five-day week. That week. Mm -hmm. So can we do it at, like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon or something? Oh, right. You don't know. 422. Four. Four. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <right. laughs> What about like 4.30 in the afternoon, could we do that? Now I know George, well, I don't know if George can be I bet George can't make it by the Yeah, so. I think we're be looking at 6 or 6.30. All right. So we have a date, yeah. What date do you want it? 
I mean, you're not going to want it too close to Christmas, and you're not. No, the last week of the month, which is 27, 28, 29, 30th, and 31st. Those five days. So we're going to do it Wednesday, the 29th at no. 6 o'clock. No. Can we do the 27th or 28th? Okay. We can do the 28th. Let's do that. Okay. Well, we're going to move 28th. it to Tuesday, 28th at 6 o'clock. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Uh, uh, territory, uh, territory meeting. Territory meeting. 6.30. Yeah. You said the 28th. We'll, we'll change the territory meeting. I oh. think we can do that. Let, let, let's get this done. Did you say the 28th? Yeah, which is a Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, that's better than the 29th for me. No. Okay. Try Monday. What time? You got some territory stuff you've got to decide. We have to decide? Yeah. Because <laughs> you got people starting the year. Yeah. So. so can you just move the territory meeting Can't we do the territory to meeting to, to 7 o'clock? If an hour is long enough for what you're doing, I, you may check with George. You may be able to have it earlier, keep him up to date with what's going on. Okay. So, yeah. Well, we're gonna, we're still go, we're gonna the 28th. We're still we gonna to try the 28th at six, but we may. Can we can we do the 27th? Monday. Monday. We could do the 26th. No. <laughs> no, I mean. All right. One more change. The 27th. Monday. At six. At six. Okay. That'll we're work. good. That's good. Jamie. 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 Yeah. Mark Dean. That'll, that'll, that'll work. Aaron will do whatever he's... No. <laughs> Mark V. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Um, I've passed out a bad debt. Okay, guys. we got to take care of this. Before we, before we I passed out this bad debt. Um, it's not... It's actually... It's... So, Lori went through all of the bankruptcy notices that we've gotten in the past few years, and so you'll notice most of these have filed bankruptcy. We're assuming that our bill was in that bankruptcy because it doesn't list every single bill, but if we got a notice, yeah, then we have to be listed. The other one, the two that say collection balance, that just means that um, we have collected everything we can. The um, Kinnum takes a percentage of what we collected, so this is the percentage that we're writing off. Okay, and then the other one is less than $25. We've kind of made that $25 mark. We're not going to chase people down for less than $25. And then the last one, uh, of course, is deceased, so can't collect. What's the... I'm not going to list the name here. It would be the uh, fifth one down. Yeah. I, what's it, the COL balance? What's that mean? Is so it that means, uncollectible? No, that means that's Kinnam's balance. So they Kinnam collected the whole entire amount, but then they kept that much of it out for themselves. So I have to write that off because... Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I was just confused by yeah. the same thing with the first one. I asked that question myself earlier, so... It's good to get Yeah. Well, it's not good. Yeah. So... Did we just do one of these earlier this year? Yeah. Uh, I thought we did. Lori's been really cleaning up the old files, and she's been using Trex a lot. Um, the Trex system got us more... I think I showed Jamie the other day, it was more than 15000 this year on old debt. So that that came in and really handy this year. We send them to our collection procedure is you get 60 days to pay it. If you don't pay it, then it goes to collections. We use Kinnum for that. If they can collect it, then we have to pay that 35% fee to Kinnum. It's a no, it's it's like kind of the fee that they can charge for doing all the legwork. And then I have to write off the balance, their balance, if they collect it all. And then after five years, it goes to Trex. But we're thinking about maybe just dropping the Kinnum part of it and using Trex. Or vice versa, sending them to Kinnum, or Trex first and then send them to Kinnum if we can. But, Kinnum has a very slim window, it's like seven years, 
whereas treks, you can go as far back. I mean, people could owe us money from back in 1980s, you know, our 70s, and we could collect money off of it. So we just have to be able to prove they owed it. I'll make a motion to pass the, um, I don't have a resolution number on here or nothing, but it's allowance of debts to be written off due to bankruptcy or uncollection for various reasons, fee under the minimum amounts. Okay. We have a motion and a second to pass the collection of debts as it is written. Any further discussion? Derek, do we need a money total on that? There is a money total. Do, no, I mean, do I need it in the motion? No, not necessarily. Okay. No. I didn't think about that okay. until after I made it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. Do you have everything? Did we sign everything? Yeah, I just need um, one more thing. I sat through a whole conference today from the State Board of Accounts. They are really pushing capital assets on us. I would like permission to get somebody in here to do our capital assets. Um, it was easy before where you could just mark everything. We have a, a threshold of $5,000. It was easy to get everybody you know, right, be in our building, owned by town of Argus, and kind of put a dollar amount on it. Now they want, they want this whole spreadsheet where you have to figure out how much you paid for it, and if you didn't know how much you paid for it, you got to guess, and then you got to depreciate it out based on their tables and stuff like that. Um, I'm not saying I can't do it. It's just going to take a long time to do it. So, aren't there companies that do that? There are. So I'm asking if I can get quotes, just to see how much. I would like to see. Uh, yeah, I would like to see you get three quotes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. At least two quotes at the minimum, but I'd like to see three. Okay. I know Baker Tilly does it, but I don't know how much they charge. And then there's a couple of other companies that the other clerks have used. Um, Carmel obviously uses one, but they're I mean, their capital asset sheets are enormous, so. Um, <laughs> well, if you're starting from nothing, it's still going to be enormous. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah. So, is. and this is only anything that's above $5,000. We're supposed to keep small inventory per department on anything less than 5000 but that's up to you guys to enforce. I'm not doing that. So I'll I'll take the the five thousand dollars and above, but well, just Jamie's <laughs> just Jamie's departments alone. Right. You've got several hundreds and hundreds under of five thousand stuff in there, so it's under five thousand. It's under <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say one piece of equipment talking about tonight, I know that. Come on. <laughs> So, walk in that building. yeah, I would just like to get some quotes because if we don't get this done, I'm going to get things on it in my next audit. I'll make a motion to allow Lisa to get three quotes at the maximum, two quotes at the minimum, to find somebody to help her get a handle on the asset uh, numbers for the town of Arby's. We have a motion and a second to allow Lisa to get uh, quotes. Uh, at least two with a maximum of three to help her get the asset report filled out. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? You got it. Thank you. Now, going forward, after we get it done, it will be easy to keep track of. You think? Hey, you're the one that, yeah, I get it. All right. Angie? Make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> 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 you guys forgot intermission. You forgot intermission. I make a motion to not have intermission. Say aye. 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 aye.